Hello, good evening, class. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marlene, how are you? I'm good. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's see who else do we have here. Um, hello, Sarah. Hi, Karen. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, ladies? How's everything? Good? Hello, Maria Santos. Good evening. Hello, Jose. How are you? Good. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, hi, Roberto. Hello, Lisa. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, Selma, how are you? Okay, uh, we're, we're gonna start in today's lesson. We're gonna start with the platform. Then later on, we'll continue with some more activities. Okay, so first of all, um, we'll start checking um, our book. So this is our manual, right? Um, besides that, we're gonna be uh, practicing, right? With some of the exercises that we have in our platform. Our lesson objective for today's class, it's basically about uh, listening and practicing a conversation where two people are catching up on news. And, uh, well, we have to pay attention, right, to the use of present perfect continuous in context. So let's see. Um, oh, let me project that. Uh, just let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our point two, our point two point six conversation. What have you been doing? So I'm gonna be asking you right about this. So I need to know about it. Let's see. It lasts just for six uh, seconds. So please, uh, pay attention. I'm just going to put uh, well. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna check if that audio is working. Okay, yeah. we're ready. Spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, so listen, right now you're going to listen to the second part of the conversation and you have to pay attention since you're going to answer some questions at the end, okay? Here we go. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. 
So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Hello, this is... Okay, so listen up. We're going to listen now the conversation, the first part, and then we're going to practice. And later, we're going to check uh, the answer, the answers for the questions at the end of the first part, okay? And we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, well, now that we have listened to the conversation, we're going to be checking some words or vocabulary that you probably know or don't, right? So look at this. We have a conversation between Pete and Gina. Uh, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What's that, guys? Ages. I haven't seen you in ages. Uh, uh, well, just to start, we're going to check the meaning for this. I have. Okay. I have not seen you in ages. Okay. So what's the meaning for ages? Any ideas? What do we mean with ages? Años. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, when you haven't seen someone for a long time, so you, well, we tend to say that, right? So I haven't seen you in ages. Caroline, for example. No te visto en años. So that's the meaning for I have not uh, seen, okay. I haven't seen you in ages. Um, let's see, uh, what have you been doing lately? What do we mean? Okay, what have you been doing lately? Okay, so this is a common question, right? That you ask when you, oh, well. Ultimamente. Ultimamente, right? So what have you been doing lately? Que has estado haciendo ultimamente? Okay. Sorry for my Spanish. Okay, yes, doesn't. That's a question. Um, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Okay, nada emocionante. So I've been working. I've, 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 something like this. I've, I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Okay, so it means that you, okay, that this person has been working two jobs for the last month. Uh, how come? So what's the meaning for how come? How come? Ideas? How come? Es como, Why? Como, como. Oh, oh, yes. Well, wait, how do we say that in Spanish? All right. Como así. So explain. <laughs> yeah, right. How come? Okay. Something like that. Right? So how come? I'm saving up money for a trip. Saving up, meaning to save money, right? Saving up, saving up. Same meaning, saving up, save, save money. Uh, for a trip to Morocco, what's a trip? Guys, trip, what's that? Viaje. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and let's see. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. So imagine having that. 
that lucky. So cool. <laughs> so being so lucky. <laughs> Imagine being so lucky, spending money. Wow. Okay. Yes. Well, I've only been spending money. Spending. What do we mean? Spending. That's fun. That's fun. Right. Okay. Spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Okay. I'm pursuing. What's that? Or pursuing pursuing what do you think i'm pursuing a full-time modeling career what do you think have you seen the movie um pursuing happiness have you seen that uh, i think uh, it's a uh, its name its last name or name it's uh, smith or something like that right so do you remember that Yes, I think you have seen the movie. Have you? I'm pursuing. What? What is that? Pursuing. Como I know. Perseguir, como perseguir, no? Uh huh. Perseguir, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm pursuing. So you're trying to do something, right? To get something. So you're pursuing something. A full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? since i graduated okay since so what's the the meaning for since in this cant in this sentence since desde desde yes. perfect since i graduated graduated okay since i graduated but i haven't been getting any work oh okay so that's not really lucky right uh let's see i need a job soon i'm almost out of money out of money out of money so what do you think <laughs> what's that same right without money right without money without money so he's almost well he's almost out of money Let's see. Let's see that conversation again. So listen up and then we practice, okay? Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time model career. Really? How long have you been modeling? since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Let's see. Um, now I'm gonna ask some of you to start with the conversation. Let's see, maybe Edgar, Edgar Fernando, you hear Edgar? Solo voy a estar checando aquí quienes pues están oyentes, okay? But the rest, we're, we're okay. Let me see. Okay, it was just Oscar and Edgar. Okay, Edgar, got it. And Giselle. Let's see, uh, Elisa. Elisa and Jeanette, please. Go ahead, ladies. Start with a conversation. Me, Pete. 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 Okay, good. Jeanette, you are a Gina. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you, you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Uh, activate your microphone, Jeanette. It's oh, you're mute. Jeanette, Carolina, Rivera, Villanueva, activate your microphone. So it's off. Let me see. Maybe it helps. I, Janet, um, I verifique su micrófono. Está en silencio. Nothing exciting. No sé qué le pasó a Janet. Pero me está una chica de micrófono de Janet. Hello, Jeanette, Carolina. Activate, try to activate your microphone. 
completely a message. Okay, let's see. Maybe, um, let me see. Jose, Jose, please go ahead. So you uh, continue with the second part, okay? Jose Lino, yes. Let's start again. Elisa, could you start again, please? Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in eggs. What have you been doing lately? Jose? No sé por qué no recibe el audio de Jose. Jose? Hola? Okay, so we have a volunteer. But check your microphones. Uh, ¿quién es? Ahí, José, no, no le escuchamos. Me, Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's see. Um, Michelle, Michelle. Go ahead, Michelle. Okay, not exciting. I've been working to just for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've been only been spending money and for swine our full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but but I haven't been getting any work. I need a you a job soon and almost out out of money. Okay. Thanks, ladies. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna um ask you again to practice this once more. Okay, listen. Hey, uh, try to listen and then you repeat that on your own. Okay, so it's not necessary to activate your microphone. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages, ages, ages. What have you been doing lately? Lately, what have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I have been working two jobs for the last six months. How come I'm saving up? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, well, I've only been spending money, spending, spending money. I'm pursuing a full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. But I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe let's see. Uh, volunteers? No, um, me, teacher. Good. Marlene and Jose. Yes. Okay. That is Jose. Okay. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in age. What ages. Have, ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exci exciting. Exciting? Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I only been spending money. I all things and full time modeling car. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I gra I gra graduated. 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 Graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. A job soon. I am. I'm almost out of money. Okay, listen. Uh, this is just the word pursue. pursue. Pursuing. Okay, pursuing. Um, pursuing pursue. a full-time modeling pursue. career. Really. How long have you been modeling since I graduated? Graduated, graduated. Listen, graduated. Since I graduated, graduated. 
or graduated. But I graduated. haven't been. Okay, it sounds better. Yeah, good. Uh, but I haven't been getting any work. Any, any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, good job, guys. Let's see. Volunteers, two more volunteers. Activate your microphones, okay? Me, teacher. Good, Karen. And Roberto, Me. go ahead. Okay. You're next, Jenny. Okay. Uh, hey, Gina. Have been seeing you in age. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. If if been working to job for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, even only been spending money. I I'm personally a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, okay good job, guys. Thanks. So just check this question. What about you? What about you guys? So what have you been doing lately? What about you? Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to look for a word. Maybe a uh, word question. No, not here. So let me continue. Let you. Um, okay. Well, let's see. And there was another word. Maybe it was... Uh, I don't have that now, but good. Let's see. Um, to uh, Jenny, Jenny, go ahead, and we need someone else. Jenny and volunteer guides. Me, teacher. Okay, Nathalie, good. Mm -hmm. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> good, excellent, nice. Um, I think it was Jenny. Jenny, you can start. Jenny? Yes, teacher. I, uh, hi, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working to jobs for the last six months. How come? I have, a, I have enough money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long, how long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. Uh, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out, out of money. Okay, good, guys. Uh, I noticed the, well, that we are having some difficulties with this word, right? Pursuing, pursuing, pursuing. Um, I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. I'm pursuing a full-time job. Okay, no. <laughs> no, that's not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career, okay? Pursuing, pursuing, pursuing. Um, graduated again. And, uh, okay, thanks, guys. Uh, let's see, two more volunteers. So I think we have some more. Activate your microphone. Selma, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see who else. Okay, we have Roberto, Oscar, and me. Anybody? Okay, thanks, ladies. Karen and Selma, go ahead. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you ages. What have you been doing lately? It's nothing exciting. I've been working to Joe for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. 
Well, that's that's a siren. Yes, it is. What about you? Well, I'll only be inspiring money. I am person oh. and full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. 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 Thanks. But I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I am almost out of money. Okay, something like this. Okay, graduated, graduate, something like that. Graduated. Um, the other word is uh ages, 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 ages. Graduated or graduated. Okay, good, ladies. Uh, is somebody else? Uh, let's see. We have somebody else. Okay, so we're going to continue with the second part. So try to listen to that again. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. Answer on our discussion. What has happened to Peter and Gina since they last saw each other? Okay. Please write your answer on our... Okay, so look at this. So what do you think? What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last met? So what, ha what has happened to them? So you wanna check the question, um, I mean, the conversation again. So what has happened to Pete and Gina? Let's see. Okay, so here you have the question. The question is, Okay, so what has happened to Pete and Gina? So look for that in the conversation. Okay, so what ha has happened to them? What do you think? Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come I'm saving up some money uh, for a trip to Morocco? Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. So what are the answers? So what has happened to them? So what has happened to Pete? Or to Gina? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. About the Pete, he he's in trouble, you know, because he don't have a job right now okay, okay. because he, he, he spent a lot of money mm, okay so pete has been spending uh, a, a lot of money a lot of money okay good so how about uh, gina Anything? Uh, gina is very smart because she she's saving uh mm -hmm. saving, saving money, money oh, to travel okay. Gina to has been saving up some money, yes? Some money. Anything yep. else? Do we have any, any other um, activity about them? About the Pete, he's, he's a modeling. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, he's, he's a model, okay. A model. What else? Who has been working two jobs for the last six months? Gina. Gina has, has two jobs. Has two jobs. Mm, yes, right. Gina has been working two, uh, two, jo two jobs for the last, okay, for the last six months. Six months. So have you ever been working two jobs? <laughs> yes? Have you? How about you? So have you been working two jobs? Yes? No? So question for you. Have you been working 
two jobs for the last, let's say, the last year. Guys, so have you been working two jobs for the last year? I start trabajando dos, two different jobs for the last six months. Yes, for the last year, okay, or six months. I work yeah. in, in the, in the way, in the, in the week, yes, Ooh. in the school. And the weekend, I work in my house. Mm, okay, interesting. I have been working two jobs for a year, for example. Okay, that's great. Let's see, anybody else? I think we have one more opinion. I have been working uh, for a driver and for as make a a extra money as, as a, a driver. Dri uh-huh. Okay, okay, and do you have another job besides yeah. The driving? Yeah, I I am a, a chef. You know? Oh, good, uh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. interesting. So yeah, probably you could invite. When I, my, mm -hmm. when I got my job, you know, I not right now, but uh, before, yeah, I I've been working for as a driver. Okay, so you've been working as a driver. Okay. As, as a driver, uh -huh. as a driver. Mm -hmm. I've been working. Uh, you can contract this. Uh, you say I've been. Okay, I've been working as a chef. Okay, for example, as a chef, as a driver, and as a okay, as well as a driver. Okay, estoy trabajando como chef, sí también como conductor, okay, or in, in driver, I don't know, Uber, so you can look like that. Okay, good. Anybody else who wants to share with us? So what have you been doing during the last uh, year? Anybody else? No. Okay, but that's good. I learned uh, from you guys. We're going to be checking these structures, okay? Let's see. So let's continue with the second part. I haven't been getting any work other people at the party answer on our discussion box part b listen to two other people at the party what has happened since they last saw each other hey bob how's it going pretty good thanks i haven't seen you for a while what have you been up to well i've been looking for a house to buy i finally found one last month that's terrific yeah I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so listen up. Uh, try to take some notes. Uh, thanks. Take some notes and uh, listen. Pay close attention to the listening. Try to take notes about the activities that they have been doing lately, okay? Traten de tomar algunos apuntes de lo que han estado haciendo últimamente. But uh, related to the conversation, okay? I'm going to play that again. Let me see. I think it was here. Answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? 
Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay, the conversation was too short. Let's see, uh, what about these two people? What have they been doing? So how about the, let's see, the boy. So what he has been doing? Uh, Bob uh, will buy a house. Oh. Looking for a house to buy. Ah, okay. And he's finally been found looking. one last week. Oh, yes. He's been looking for a house to buy. For a house to buy. Okay. And what happened at the end? He finally found it, right? I think he so. He finally found one last week. Uh huh. He finally found one last week. About um the lady. She got a vacation in Italy. Okay, she got vacation. Okay. She, okay. she got engaged. Yes. Anything else? Where was uh where did she go? Where did she go? In Italy. Italy. Okay. Okay. She was on vacation in Italy. Okay, good. In Italy. Awesome, guys. So now we continue with our second part. I'm gonna continue this. So just let me close it. And then we. Okay, look at this. Um, okay, so we continue with our point two, uh, point uh, seven. And this uh, object, lesson objective, we're gonna be checking um, how to use present perfect continuous. So basically that's uh, was a part of the conversation, right? Uh, that was a preview. So now we're gonna be checking how to use it and uh, what are some of the structures. But for this, I'm not, uh, well, I'm gonna show you a presentation so you can, uh, learn how to use it, okay? And uh, we're gonna be comparing these with a present perfect tense. Okay, so it's gonna be fast, it's just 14 slides, okay? Let me see, uh, maybe you could see this. Okay, look at this. Uh, can you see that? Guys, tell me. Can you see that? Presentation. Uh, it says present yes, perfect yes, continuous. Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, look at this. We're gonna compare these. Uh, it's important since so you're gonna be using this. So, uh, we're gonna kill two birds. <laughs> okay. Uh, present perfect continuous. Uh, our emphasis is on the activity, but uh, the present perfect. Uh, the emphasis it's on the result. For example. He has been repairing the car for two hours. So uh, we uh, the emphasis for this uh, present perfect continuous is the activity of uh, repairing the car. And for the present perfect, uh, we focus on the result. He has repaired the car, right? So one is the continuous activity and the other one is the result that we get, right? He has repaired the car. And Maybe in the first one, when we talk about present perfect continuous, uh, we don't know if the activity has finished or not. So it can uh, still can be a present, right? Let's see. So let's continue with some more examples. Uh, well, we have the structure. What are the structures that we need to use with the perfect continuous? Look at this, uh, subject pronoun plus have not, oh, this is for the negative or positive, I have been plus ing. So this is a positive, right? Or I have not been, okay, ing. Or uh, 
for he, she, and it, you can you use has, right? Because it's the person singular, and we have to use has. Okay, positive, I have been waiting. Negative, I have not been waiting. Negative. Uh, third person singular, he hasn't, okay, he has been, uh, let's see, he has been waiting. He has not been waiting, okay, negative. Or you use a contraction, we're gonna be checking that. And uh, for the present perfect tense, you use a uh, subject pronoun again, plus have uh, or has, and then you have the negatives, plus a uh, third uh, regular, irregular or regular verb in the past tense. So it's a participle form, okay? Verb three, right? Uh, example, I have left or I have repaired. You have left, you have repaired. They have left, they have repaired. He has left, he has repaired. She has left or she has repaired. Or the negative, right? I have not repaired my cell phone. She has not, uh, let's see. She has not uh, left or she has not repaired something. Um, I suggest you to take a screenshot of, of a bit. We're gonna focus on uh, practicing this more than talking about rules. Let's see, um, look at this. We have been painting the flat, that's why it smells. So we still have to run the paint. Um, in here, we have this short explanation about these uh, present perfect continuous, present perfect continuous. And remember that we, as we mentioned at the beginning, uh, we emphasize uh, the duration of the action, which started in the past and may or may not be completed by now. So when we use present perfect continuous, it's an activity that started in the past and probably it has finished or not, okay? So that's a present perfect continuous. So we focus on the duration of the action. For example, we have been painting the flat. We have been talking about present perfect continuous. We have been working, we have been practicing, we have been listening, we have been, uh, what else? We have been talking, right? Um, okay, and we haven't finished yet, okay? I have been, uh, okay, teaching present perfect continuous. <laughs> I have been, I have been studying, okay, been studying. So what have you been doing, guys? Tell me. So give me a sentence. I have been? Playing the piano. Okay, playing, playing the piano. Playing the piano. What else? I have been cleaning the house. Cleaning the house. Okay, so probably you haven't finished. Are you? <laughs> okay. Somebody else? What have you been doing, guys? Give me your examples. I have been washing the dishes. Okay, washing the dishes. Good. Anybody else? I have been? I have been eating a book. I thought you said eating, okay. <laughs> reading a book, okay, okay, but that's good, you have to eat, I have been reading a book, <laughs> and eating is, uh, it's better, <laughs> okay, I've been, anybody else? I have, I have been running in the park, okay, good, you have been running in the park, okay, I have been dancing all the day. Dancing all day, good. So, you know, I'm thinking about getting some, some classes. <laughs> okay, I have been. I have been drinking a coffee. Yes, right, drinking coffee. 
Uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite activities. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I have been drinking coffee and you can still and uh, you can be uh, drinking coffee the whole morning. So you just, just want what a cup of coffee and then you have like what is your, what is your favorite coffee? Ah my Starbucks favorite coffee cup. Mm, uh, my favorite coffee is a store or coffee shop. Yeah. Um mm, I think it is not a Starbucks, maybe uh, coffee cup. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But coffee is coffee. <laughs> okay. I like, I like the coffee of Campero. Campero. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have tried that too. Good. Yeah, that's a good one. So maybe we can uh, meet one day, guys, and drink <laughs> a coffee. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And come listening uh, music. Ah, okay. I have been listening to music. Okay, I have been listening to music. What else have you been doing during these uh, let's say, months, years, or recently? Have what have you been doing? Cooking the dinner. Oh yes, cooking dinner. So have you been working cooking dinner? To... I have been. Uh -huh. I, I have been working all day. Mm -hmm. So you need to rest, and you need an English class. <laughs> so just uh, that's a complimentary activity. I have been. Anybody else? Reading a book. Mm -hmm. Reading a book, and you know, you can also add uh, some others like recently, lately. So, just to add an adverb, right? Let's see. So, we continue with the second part, and um, let's see. We'll continue asking some more questions later. Look at this. Oh, here you have some examples. We have painted the flat present perfect, right? Look at this subject. Uh, have plus a verb in the third form, which is a participle form, or the verbs that we know as past, right? But not all of them, right? So they are written in different forms sometimes. Okay, we have painted the flat. All the rooms are painted now. So remember, uh, when we use present perfect, we focus on the result of the action, which is complete now. For example, we have painted the flat. Uh, I have, so let's see, I have taught, okay, the class. So it means it's over, right? I have drunk a coffee. I have worked, okay. I have finished. Yeah, finished my career. So what is something that you have complete, guys? Okay, for example, I have written a report, um, okay, a report about the company's uh, Companies sales, let's say. Tell me, so what are some activities that you have completed? Remember, we focus on the result of the action. So that's the emphasis. So check the list of verbs. Check the list of verbs. I have spoken English. Okay, with my friends for a while. Okay. Tell me, tell me, what are some activities that you have completed? For example, I have, uh, let's say, uh, drank the coffee. I have uh, practiced. I have practiced 
So what have you practiced? I practiced English. I have listened to music. Okay. So try to write one example. Try to write one example. Remember that with this tense, you have to use the third form of the verb. For example, eat, it's the first one. Eight is the second one, the past form. In eaten is the third form. So you need to use that form. I have eaten a hamburger or a pizza. <laughs> Let's see another verb. Maybe the verb uh, C. Okay, C. The first form, the present form. Uh, the second form is so. The past tense. Let's say past tense. And what is the participle form? Seen, right? Yes, seen. I have seen what? What have you seen? He visto. Basically, are these verbs like uh, the finished with visto, ido, ado, right? He trabajado, he enseñado. He... I have done something, right? I've seen. So, what have you seen? Uh, I go nine. Ah, uh? he visto un águila, a uh, algo. Oh, okay, an eagle, eagle, an eagle, an eagle. I have seen an eagle. What else? Okay, how about the word work? So this is basically work. I have worked here for twenty years, for example. I have worked. Uh, remember that for this tense, what you need to know is these forms, okay? Okay, the third forms of uh, these verbs. Eaten, seen, worked. I have danced, let's say. I have played with my pet. Okay. I have, okay, I have. Uh, the verb played it like oh, play okay late with my pet that's why why remember why uh, why it's t plate plate i have plate i have plate with, with my pet ah with my best friend okay okay so we're gonna check some examples. Maybe these help us. We'll try to take some notes, okay? Look at this, usage and difference. Uh, present perfect continuous, okay? Tom has been man mending his bike all day. So he has been doing something, right? And uh, he hasn't finished, of course. And uh, present perfect, we check the result. Tom has mended his bike, so. It's over, he finished, so he did a good job. And let's see, Um, let's check another example. Can you read these examples, please? Maybe, uh, Elisa, Elisa, help us with the present perfect continuous um, with team. Let's start with team, present perfect and present uh, perfect continuous, both. This one, this one. Read. Uh -huh, just read. Yes, please. Tim has been going to the gym for the last three months. Okay. So as you notice, this is a repeated action over a period of time. So Tim has been going to the gym for the last three months. So I have been going to the gym for the last uh, two days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, uh, well, it, basically in here we want to mention that this is a repeated action over a period of time, right? I have been working here for the last uh, six months, 
I have been, or he has been, so that, that depends, right? He has been working here for the last three months. Present perfect team has lost by kilos. So it's over, right? So the result is that he has lost by kilos. Let's see, second example. Could you read the person continuous and the person perfect? Let's see, maybe Giselle, Giselle. Marlene, please help us. Marlene. He has been driving for five hours. Okay. And present perfect. Ah, uh -huh, please. He has driven five hundred kilometers so far. Okay, good. Next example, please. Uh, help us, Jose. She has been with it for two days. Mm -hmm. Read that present perfect example. She, are, she has read 200 pages of the book. Okay, let's see, help us with the last example. Let's see. Selma, please. Last example. It has been raining. It 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 has been raining for all day. Okay. The road is wet. Is wet, pardon. Wet. The rain has just stopped. Okay. Stopped. Okay. So next, uh, let's see. I'm gonna show you some pictures, and I need you to give me these uh descriptions. Okay. So think about uh, about the activity that they have been doing. So the question is, what, okay. What have they been doing? So what do you think? Picture number one, what has she been doing, guys? She has been. He has shopping. Uh -huh. He has been shopping. He has been shopping. Uh huh. She has been shopping. Okay. She has been shopping. How about him? He has. He yes. has been. He has been running. Yes. He has been tired. Running. Hmm. Ah, it's not tired. It's an adjective. He's a he's tired. So he has been running. He's been running. He is tired now. Okay. He's tired. He's rest. He has been. He's resting. He's resting. Okay. So how about them? <laughs> 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 So have you done that? <laughs> they have been painting. They have been painting. 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 Okay. They have been painting and playing. I don't know. Yeah. Playing. Fighting. Okay. Fighting. We don't know. Maybe. Painting their face. <laughs> <laughs> painting their faces. Probably they need some makeup. <laughs> okay. Uh let's see next picture. What do you think? He has, he has been, has been playing, playing the football. Playing soccer. Playing, playing soccer. soccer. Anything else? It's my son. He has been, <laughs> He's been playing there soccer. Is. Okay, remember that you can contract this. He's he's been he's Soccer. He's been playing soccer. He's been. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been playing soccer. So how do you know when is a uh, present perfect continuous or a simple sentence? Well, that depend. Uh, that depends, right, on the structure that you have. He's been playing soccer. 
Okay, he's been play, playing soccer. Let's see, uh, let's check the next one with um, contraction. How about them? They, they have been. been they, they, contraction, they been. Cooking. 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 Okay. Cooking or baking. Okay. Baking some cookies. Yes, they been cooking or they been baking some cookies. Okay. Do you, okay. you like to cook? <laughs> Not the How about they? They 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 been, they, they traveling. Been traveling. 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 Okay. Oh God, that, that was a little... <laughs> Okay, thanks guys. So oh, we're gonna stop in here. Um, let me see. I'm gonna pass the down please, and then you're free to go. Let me see. So what have you been doing lately, recently, guys? Studying, thinking about, I don't know, your next, uh, I don't know, some, uh -huh. hours. thinking about? We need two hours of class. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let me see. Nine. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada López. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely López. Giselle Mary Hernández Torres. Son los que están de oyente, teacher. Edgar Fernando y Giselle. Ah, sí, sí, cierto. Janet Carolina Rivera. Present, teacher. Eh, Rosalina... Una preguntita. Una preguntita. Este, ayer estuve en clase, pero fíjese que estaba teniendo problemas con el Inter. Y cuando tomó la asistencia, no sé si me la tomó. Janet. Sí. Sí, acá está. Sí. Ah, vaya. Gracias. Ok, Janet. José Lino Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karen Yvette Villanueva. Present teacher. Thanks, Karen. Maria Santos Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Santos. Marlene Elizabeth Valles. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Nestalí Antonio Mejia. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alexander Santana. Roberto Eduardo Escaquilla. Present, Present Thanks, teacher. Doctor. Thanks, Roberto. Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Thanks. Selma Yamilet Peña. Present. Thank you, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina. Present. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be tomorrow. Please be on time. So we start at 8. So we finish at 9. Okay, that's all for today's lesson, guys. I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Uh, good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Teacher, no me mencionó. Michelle. Okay, ahorita lo vi con Michelle Beatriz. Okay. Yeah, listo. Gracias, Michelle. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, Sorry. good night, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>